so hi friends we'll be discussing the anatomy of the ureteric tunnel just to understand this is the bladder the normal anatomy this is how the uterus is going to be present okay here we have the rectum here we have the vagina okay what typically happens is that the ureter enters somewhere here okay if i draw it in this plane it goes up okay this is just one of the planes which i am trying to draw but i'm going to try and demonstrate this entire anatomy to you in different different planes the ureteric tunnel which we speak of is somewhere in this region okay so let me just mark this entire plane for each and every one and let me just start with the axial plane all right so i will draw the axial plane and i'll draw it in a particular color all right so let me just draw it in blue color so let's say this is the axial plane and if i have a cut section of this this is how it looks in the axial anatomy okay so you have the bladder which is present here bladder is lined with the detrusor muscle as you are all aware of all right behind that will come obviously the cervix okay so this is how the cervix would be and then somewhere placed obliquely and laterally would be the rectum all right so this is your rectal lumen and then we go to the brown color on how the ureter would enter so the ureter would enter somewhere like this and the ureter has this typical way of being close to this region before it goes and enters inside the bladder so when it does this there are some attachments which are present here these attachments are obviously the cervical vesical ligaments which are present here behind the cervix you are going to have the beautiful fan shaped uterosacral ligament which is going to fan out completely and then you have the beautiful ureter okay so what this ureter does or what is our indication of any of this surgery is to ensure that this part of the ureter where the tunnel is present all right it gets liberated from this and the ureter gets lateralized in this direction so practically you want this ureter i will just draw how we want this ureter to be we want this ureter to be nice and you know lateralized when this ureter is lateralized the word is very very important it pre prevents all the forms of ureteric injury okay and it will protect this ureter this is what we want so if in case i want to study in this plane the ureteric tunnel is a roof like structure which is present here let me go back to my original green color it is a roof which is present here okay this roof is actually formed out of smooth muscle okay that's the only thing which you will understand from this anatomy and now in order to understand this anatomy better let me just erase this drawing for all of you once i erase this drawing and i will switch to a different plane altogether and that is the coronal plane so when i switch to the coronal plane you will understand a lot more correlation of the anatomy so let me just draw the coronal plane for all of you in red color so let's say i'll just cut it open like this so what am i going to see i'm going to be seeing something like this this is where the cervix is present in the coronal cut section and we have the vagina which is present here all right and what do we have the brown colored ureter so let me just draw the brown colored ureter for you this is the brown colored ureter which is present like this on both the sides i have drawn the muscle and the ligaments in green so let me just tell you that the ureteric tunnel is you know engulfed with smooth muscle like this but there is some beautiful anatomy which you need to keep in mind and that is you have superficial uterine vein which is coming from the uterus and going inside the internal iliac vein and you have the deep uterine vein okay going below so you have this uterine vein which we normally call as the superficial uterine vein forming one side and you have this deep uterine vein which is forming the other side that means the forming the bottom all right one more important and interesting structure which we all love and our life depends that's the uterine artery which goes we typically study this and you know we call this as water going under the bridge so basically when i have to separate this entire anatomy off what is it that i have to keep in mind very very important i need to ensure that i cut the uterine artery and the uterine vein and i lift these two structures in the upward direction so that i can have i will just draw this for you see when i just cut these structures and i when i lift them in the direction upwards i'll have the uterine artery going like this and i'll have the uterine vein going up like this correct so i have a direct exposure at the tunnel when i have this direct exposure at the tunnel using my forceps i will be able to separate off these muscular attachments and i will be able to ensure that the ureter gets free 
and from this position i will be able to get this ureter here in dotted lines what i draw into a more lateral position this lateralization of the ureter is important in cases of endometriosis and it is also important in cases of cancer because the vagina is going to act as the margin the vaginal cuff is going to act as your margin in cases of cancer and you want the ureter to be free of injury all right now this is the only concept which you need to understand about the ureteric tunnel because once you understand this you will realize that this entire guy is got predominantly smooth muscle everywhere this guy has a lot of smooth muscle the ureteric tunnel it's actually a tunnel it has some small veins along with that okay and as i have drawn in the green in the previous diagram as well there is a vesico ligament which goes in the front and then there is a utrosacral which goes behind and close to that is the ureteric tunnel if you understand this concept and begin to apply this concept in your routine endometriosis surgery or more importantly in gynae onc surgery then you will always understand that even to dissect the ureteric tunnel you need simple mixtured forceps you need simple needle holders you need an instrument which is going to be able to dissect the smooth muscle and separate this entire anatomy from here from this plane from this plane completely so that your ureter goes away laterally i hope all of you have enjoyed this and i'll answer more of your questions on whatsapp thank you so much